Project High is everywhere. They are invited literally to every crisis that exists. Oceanfront condo crumbled to the ground at Surfside near Miami. The human toll and the soaring new numbers from the UN on Ukrainians fleeing the fighting. Israeli Prime Minister has called for an annual day of mourning after at least 45 people were crushed to death. I think that we could all agree that there's more and more trauma in the world. There's more and more crises. Project Chai is a necessary piece for the firm community at large nowadays because of the impact of trauma. When a crisis happens, you need that rock solid sort of person or institution that comes in that says, we've got this, we've got you, we've got this, we'll help you through it. We may show up at the scene of an accident. We may show up at the scene of a crime, such as happened in Jersey City. Even if somebody dies that you're expecting to die, how do you tell your kids? How do you introduce that to the children, to the spouse? Maybe it was something that, you know, was very violent or very sudden. We go into a situation where there's been some kind of crisis that could result in a personal trauma for a person or for a community. We try to mitigate those effects. It really offers a lifeline. High Lifeline is awesome. High Lifeline is extremely sensitive to the needs of the community. Our teachers, parent, parent body, and students all do come from different walks of Jewish life. And knowing that there was a resource where I could tap into that would give me the right thing to say and the right route to go in case of different challenges. I think what's at stake here is really the mental health of the Jewish community. It's very difficult to deal with it on your own. When you have a group who can come in and help stabilize the situation, the outcomes are better for everybody.